Hey guys, I am back again with another video. So this will be another video game collection update. Uh, this will be a um, pretty much all the stuff that I have collected from this week and last week. And overall, I found a lot of great stuff, um, really awesome deals. I um, also had some trades with um, one of my friends, so I will show those as well. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get it started. Uh, the first act I want to show you is um, these two Nintendo 64 games. I actually paid uh, $25 for these two. Um, well, technically, they're not trades, I guess. Um, he was the same. Um, I got these from the same person where I got um, the other Nintendo 64 games from as well. So it's the same person. So um, we got um, Shadow Man for the 64. Um, everything is complete. It has the manual, uh, the inserts, and the game, obviously. So got that. Uh, the next one here is uh, Quest 64 for the 64. Uh, the only thing that's missing is just the um, the manual for it. Um, I didn't want to pay for the game because I already own the game for it. So I got that. And um, the box condition is in really good uh, condition. Uh, from buybacks, I found... Um, actually, one of my um, friends actually found this for me. I had some DVDs. Uh, that I wanted to trade uh, for, like I guess, credit or cash at my local buybacks. And I pretty much used all of that for uh, these three NES games. Uh, so we have um, Captain Skyhawk. And pretty much um, all these three um, NES games are complete. So, got that. Uh, Double Dragon. And um, Dragon Warrior. Um, he actually showed me this game in particular, um, Double Dragon. I was actually, um, really thankful for him to not actually pick it up because I don't really see these box NES games as much. And, um, he actually did purchase Double Dragon, uh, just recently when we, um, did our, um, uh, thrift store, um, game hunts, I guess. So, it was really cool of him to let me, um, purchase it. So, got that. I think, oh, um, these Nintendo 64 games, uh, these three were originally, uh, $12.49, I guess, um, for these three, but I had used my Sabres card, and, and that actually knocked out a couple of bucks, so I paid around, I think, 9 or $10 for these three, so we got, um, NFL Blitz for the 64. Um, F-Zero X, this was actually um, one of the games that I wanted, and um, Tetrisphere, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So I got these three for, um, I think, nine, ten dollars. They had another bag of three um, 64 games, but um, most I wasn't really interested in getting those, so I got those. Um, from a different time from Savers, um, I found some NES games and Sega Genesis games there, um, surprisingly. So we got um, RC Pro-Am for the NES, uh, Mission Impossible, and Sonic and Knuckles. I'm not too sure if you could actually play this game by itself. I'm thinking you need the, um, the, the game to actually play it. I'm not too sure. But um, each one of them were uh, 4 dollars a piece. And um, pretty much these usually go for around like if you could find it really cheap, like around three bucks, two to three bucks. But um, the reason why that I got um, these three is because I don't have them in my collection, so I got that for that reason. And let's see, um, pawn shop wise, um, I went to my um, Cash America pawn in my area, and they had some PlayStation 2, um, original Xbox, and PSP games that they were trying to get rid of. And all of them were $1.99 a piece, so $2. And um, I pretty much got like eight of them. And from the glass case, I got some um, an Xbox 360 game and a Nintendo Wii game. So um, we're going to start out with the stack of PlayStation 2 games that I got. 
and uh, pretty much all of them were a buck ninety nine. So um, we got um, Tenchu Wrath of Heaven, uh, see Kessen two, and I don't know if you can see here, it's on clearance for one ninety nine. So that's uh, Super Dragon Ball Z. This one, I actually did notice, um, they priced this fairly low, but I didn't mind, but uh, we got 13 and I don't know if you can see the sticker price, but it's, uh, 49 cents, but, um, the, pretty much all of their games in that area were like $1.99, so, uh, I don't really mind. Uh, this one looked, uh, I haven't seen this before, so I picked it up, um, Unison for the PlayStation 2. This looks like a rhythm game, I guess. Um, I picked that up just for that. Uh, Time Crisis 2 for a book 99. Uh, let's see, Second Sight. And um, The Nightmare of um, Druaga. So, for the PlayStation 2. So, overall, um, really good deals. Um, from the glass case that, that they had at the pawn shop, I found um, Bound by Flame for the Xbox 360 for $5. Uh, I checked. Uh, this game is fairly new. It still goes for around um, 30 40 bucks, I think. So for 5 bucks, I actually bought it just to give it a try. And I actually played like a couple minutes of it. And so far, I'm not really digging this game so much. Um... I don't know, it's not really, I'm not really interested of this, uh, it's a good thing I paid five bucks for it, so, yeah, um, I just took a good chance on it. Uh, next, I got, um, Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Nintendo Wii for seven dollars, and I forgot to mention that, uh, they're not complete, it doesn't have the manual, but for seven bucks, um, it's a Pokemon game, it's like Pokemon Stadium, so I picked that up just for that reason. And I think now, um, there's also this one big item that I want to show you, but that's going to be last. Um, the bulk of it is going to be for, um, from the swap meet. So, overall, really good day, um, heading down to the swap meet. Um, I found some, uh, a lot of Genesis games, uh, Sega Genesis games, so, um, for a really good deal. So, um, from the first vendor, um, I got these, um, uh, two, three, four, five. Sega Genesis games for uh, 20 bucks. Um, I haggled. Uh, he originally wanted, I think, 30 or 25, but um, uh, he actually gave me a really good deal on these games. So I'll pretty much go one by one. Um, and here is uh, Fatal Labyrinth. Uh, this one is, I think, this is the only one that's not complete. It doesn't have the manual. But uh, Fatal Labyrinth. Um, I actually remember playing this game on the PlayStation 3. I actually own the um, Sega Genesis Mega Collection, and this was one of the games I actually played. So it's really nice to have like the actual copy of it in the collection. Uh, next one here is uh, Jewel Master. Uh, I'm not too sure about this game whatsoever. Uh, whatsoever. It looks interesting. Um, just looking at the back. Uh, next one here is um, Ernest Evans. Uh, this looks kind of like Indiana Jones if you looked at, at the picture. See by the guy right there. And it's like, but yeah, uh, Ernest Evans. Uh, next here is uh, Game Ground. Not too sure about this. this. I thought at first when looking at the front it looks like a, an RPG. I mean like a fighting game. But when I looked in the back it kind of looked like an RPG. Uh, I'm not too sure about it, so that's um, this one is kind of well known. Uh, it's fairly popular, um, so I've heard. Uh, is um, Kid Chameleon? Uh, I actually got myself a copy of it, so really happy about that. Uh, next is from a different vendor, and um, I was kind of curious to know if he had more of these, and this was the only like game he had um, for sale which is uh, Maze Hunter 3D for the Sega Master System. Um, I actually um, have a Sega Master System, it's just I'm missing um, 
the controller and the power adapter for it. So I'm not too sure like how am I going to play this, but I think you need the, um, when I was reading the back, um, it looks like you need like the 3D glasses. So I'm guessing when you pop this in, it's going to have like a double image on the TV. I'm not too sure. But for, uh, for two bucks, I actually picked it up. So it's really cheap. Um, let's see. From a different vendor, I got a fairly new game, I guess, like a couple months old. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins. Um, originally it was 18 bucks, but um, he went down to 3, so I paid 15 for it. Um, I think it's missing like all, all the DLC, but uh, to be honest with you, I'll just, I'm just interested in just playing the story in general. So, I picked that up. Uh, from a, uh, a reseller that primarily sells video games, I got um, the front cover is ripped, but I don't know if you can see it right here. It's Mega Man Legends 2 for the PlayStation 1. And it's complete, I guess. Uh, it's just the front is, is wrecked, but Mega Man 2. Uh, I paid $10 for this. And um, I think going online, it's like a $40, $50 game. So for 10 bucks, that's actually a really good deal. Um, at first, I was kind of hesitant of getting this game. But um, when I checked my phone, I instantly went back and paid the $10 for it, so that was a good deal. Uh, I think after that, uh, we checked a few vendors, and then we went back to the um, the guy that had the Genesis games, and he actually had some stuff um, set, um, set up as well. So um, we came back, and I actually got some more stuff from him. So we got um, these Game Boy um, color or, or original Game Boy cases. I got these three for a dollar, and I actually use these for my loose uh, Game Boy games. So and just to protect them. So I got that. Um, next one is a um, a bundle deal that we did. Um, I was interested in picking up. Um, I'm hoping this is for the Sega Master System. I'm not too sure. Um, this is what it looks like. But it says Sega. It says um, Class 2 Power Supply for use with video games. And it has the Sega logo. I'm not too sure it's for the Sega Saturn. Not Saturn. Um, the Sega Master System. But this is what it looks like. So I'm not too sure about that. Um, I had this bundled in. I wanted this. Um, I got uh, Obitus. It's kind of has like a lot of wear. There's like sticker right here, right here. There's like a marker right there, and marker right there. But um, it's an easy, easy clean, so I won't have that much trouble. And I wanted uh, Contra Three for the um, Super Nintendo as well. Uh, these were the three that I was interested in getting, and um, overall I paid. Thirty dollars for these three items. Um, for the price for this one, this pretty much averages around thirty dollars. And uh, technically, I got um, this one, Obitus, and this power adapter. I guess for free. I guess that's the that's kind of the uh, the idea that he wants me to think. And for thirty bucks, I think that's considered a good deal um, for these three items. I was willing enough to pay for that. And, um, yeah, um, overall, the swap meet has been pretty good overall. Uh, one of the last items that I got is, um, gaming-related. Um, it's actually a statue that I picked up from uh, my Sabres. And, um, it is a Halo 3, um, statue. Um, I paid, like, around 40 bucks for this, uh, with the discount of my card. And um, I took a chance on it. It looks like it looks really detailed. Um, I wasn't sure if it was missing pieces. I actually did my research on it, and it, it did. Um, what's missing is that these two arms, these are detachable, and um, they have like you could also like carry like two submachine guns with them. I only have the battle rifle for it, and um, there's some damage on the torso right over 
this part right here. Um, it's detachable. Um, it's supposed to detach. Um, it's just when you pull it, um, I think the, the pins or the, the shaft of it is cracked. So it's kind of like it's it's a solid piece. It's just a little bit wobbly, but overall it's a really nice um, like just to like display a display piece. You know, um, I'm I'm happy of the way it is um, for a second hand item. It has at least it has him holding a like a battle rifle. So so that's really cool and like small details like the um, the bubble shield actually being destroyed and you can see the um, the shield like breaking down. So that. Uh, that's pretty cool but uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's all the stuff that I have picked up from the last two weeks um, other than that I might have some footage um, of some of my trips not too sure if I'm gonna add it but we will see but anyways um, this is refresh and hope you guys like watch my video bye